Hey guys, welcome back to Small Talk, small conversations with huge impact, now exclusively on Spotify, powered by Spotify for Podcasters. And thank you so much for listening. If you are listening to the first time, then check out the other episodes. I know that you're going to love them. After this one, check them out. If you are an avid listener of the podcast, then I hope that you are doing well. I know that <laughs> some of you guys just listen to the podcast. If you guys need a little extra push for something, um, if you are in a bad place, then I want you know you to know that it's going to be okay. I promise you that. Just keep going, okay? If um, you know if you're here because you want to learn, then I'm happy. I'm happy that you're here, and I want to appreciate you for just being committed to your growth. And so for this episode, I want to bring an awareness around something that I feel uh, is a hack. Of course, there's a lot of components into it, but this hack, if you understood it properly, then I promise you that anything is possible for you. Like there is nothing you can't do, right? So I was in a seminar called Discovery, which I uh, am co-facilitating as well. Um, And uh, my co-facilitator, Coach Miggs, he did this um, rock, paper, scissors game. And then... I uh, we were processing it, and then I realized that that game was so powerful because you know that the people who were winning, especially after the first um, rock paper scissors, scissors, like for example, you you do like best of five, right, or best of three. After the first game, if you won, if you won the first rock paper scissors, bam, you you won the first round, then you're just going to keep on focusing on win- winning, okay? You're just going to keep on focusing on winning. But on the other hand, if you lose, now you start to become defensive. Now you start to strategize. Oh, maybe he's going to go for the rock. Oh, maybe he's going to go for the paper. <laughs> Are you getting this? Now you become scared and you're doubting yourself and you're thinking of how do you beat this versus the other person who's just focus is I just want to win, right? I'm not even going to think of what's what I'm going to attack next. I didn't know how I do it. I'm just, I'm just focused on winning here, okay? And most likely, the, the person who just uses his momentum will win the game. But what? why is that so important to understand? Because I know for a fact that that just shows maybe one of the world's secrets of how to achieve your goals. Success is both science, a science and an art. And I think this is where the art comes in. I think this is where some of the things um, that science hasn't caught up yet. Okay? If you look at that game, if you analyze that game, you would see that the person who had focused on their intention to win came out winning more. And maybe that's just something that you need to do. A lot of people are just so obsessed with planning. You need to plan, but like plan 5%. 5% is planning. Okay, 95% is all about follow through following through with your intention because if you set an intention then you got to make sure that that intention happens if you are committed enough to see that for yourself i remember this story where um you know the these romans uh soldiers i don't know if this is accurate but i'm kind of paraphrasing here so you know these soldiers they rode in uh they they were on a boat and then they went to the island um and then when they went down the island, okay? And then a scout says, you know, there's thousands of enemies here. We won't be able to make it. You know, that, that That's a, a person who doubts, okay? And then the captain says, okay, then burn the ship so that we have no other choice that if we want to have or if our intention is to go home to our loved ones, so we got to win this war, like that's the only choice. And you see, that's also what happens in life. If you have no choice but to be successful because that's your intention, then I promise you that nothing can ever stop you. 
if you set an intention that this is what I want to achieve in my life, that is so powerful that how you're going to do it is just going to show up. You don't even need to ask about it. You don't need to think about it. It just shows up. But a lot of people are so focused on their problems. That's why their problems are growing. Now they become on the defensive end. But if you're focused on the intention and you just want to make that happen 100%, no matter what it takes, you'd rather die than not see that intention come true. That's when you're going to actually have it. It's like the, the person who talked to this guru and said, how uh, can I, I want to become successful. Can you teach me? He said, uh, okay, meet me at the beach at 4 a.m. in the morning. And so the guy who asked, you know, went there for uh, the next day, 4 a.m. in the morning. He saw the guru um, m- maybe a few meters in, in, in the ocean. And so he went there. And then as he approached, the guru held the man's head and, you know, pushed him down the ocean. And then he asked him, how bad do you want it? And then the man, um, you know, was fighting for it. And then he pulled back and then uh, and then he grasped for air, for air. And then the guru pushed it, pushed him down again. And then he fought back and he, uh, you know, rose back up again. And the guru said, how bad do you want it? And he pushed it down again. And then he fought back and he finally, um, you know, got away from the guru. And he said, what was that about? And the guru said, if you want to become successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'd become successful. If you are committed to your intention, you become unstoppable. But a lot of people, they just set intentions and they think they could not have achieved it. They could not, they, they have an option not to achieve it. I don't w- operate that way. And I think that's what separates me from a lot of people out there That's what I use in most of the things that I want to happen in my life. I make an intention and I make sure that I make it happen. No other way that. But a lot of you guys, a lot of of people out there, they're all focused on the plans. They're all focused on what could not work. And they get so strapped up in this loop of thinking that they could plan everything out. You cannot control life. You can only control what actions are you going to do aligned with the, with the intentions that you set. This is a short episode, but I hope that you get the point because this just might change your life. The scary part is a lot of you even don't have, don't even have intentions. Like you wake up, And you just wait, wait for life to happen. You're not living intentionally. Living intentionally means you are choosing what to do with every hour of your day. A lot of people ask me, yeah, I'm busy. Well, let me look at your calendar. If you're busy, like, what are you going to do? Show me. And a lot of people, no, I'm going to do this. No, no, no. Show me your calendar. Because if it's not in your calendar, it's not your, in your intentions. And if it's not in your intentions, you're not going to do it. It's that simple. You may try to freestyle it, maybe do a couple of things. But at the end of the day, if it's not in your intention, you're not going to do it. It always starts with intention. So what's your intention for the week, for the month? Okay, if you're listening to this real time, what's your intention in the next six months, in the next quarter, or maybe in the next year? Or better, what's your intention for the next five years? You don't need to have it figured it out, but you need to start to look at where do you want to see yourself? What's your biggest intention? So that when it's clear to you, all the other opportunities will align to make sure that that happens for you. But you got to say it out. You got to speak it out. You got to write it down. You got to be firm. That that's your intention. No wavering with that intention. Be 100% committed to that. And I promise you that your life will change. And so that's it for this episode. If you like this one, please share it on your Instagram. Don't forget to tag me at Alec Wenke. And I'm seeing a lot of people um, 
re replying here on Spotify, go ahead. I'd love to re read your comments here online. And if you like this episode, please let me know your thoughts below um, here on the Spotify um, platform, okay? Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much. I um, hope that you enjoyed this one. I enjoyed making this one as well. So thank you. My name is Alec Cuenca. This is Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact, now exclusively on Spotify, powered by Spotify for Podcasters. And always remember, you are loved, you are worthy, and you are more than enough. Thank you, everyone, and see you guys next episode. Peace. Peace.